I'm the senior pastor here at the House of Estelle, your guide, Pastor Taz. We're here to make sure that you receive a word from the Lord. We believe everyone receives, needs a word from the Lord. Amen? Amen. Uh, getting right into it, we started off the last couple of weeks talking about the three temptations that, that, that the enemy, that the devil uh, propositioned uh, uh, Jesus with. After Jesus came off his 40-day fast, he, he first um, he, he tempted him with, um, with the beef. I, I titled it, Where is the Beef? And it was about physical needs and desires. The devil says that you can, you know, you're hungry. Well, turn these stones into bread. But well, Jesus says it is written, man should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Second temptation, it has to do with possessions and power. He told him, if you truly are the son of God, if you truly are the son of God, throw yourself off a cliff. You can't die. You're protected. The angels will swoop you away, and you will not even get a scratch on your feet. Well, he says it is written, thou should not tempt the Lord God Almighty. Which I call that title, I title that, what do you have to prove? You do not have to prove anything to anyone except God himself. Amen. 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 You've got to know who you are and whose you are in Christ Jesus. A lot of people want to tempt you. Oh, you're not a Christian, you're not this, you're not that. Well, hey, whose business is that of yours? Amen. Mm -hmm. I have nothing to prove to anyone but my God Almighty. Amen. Amen. Now, last but not least, turn with me in your Bibles to Matthew 4, verse 8 through 10. Matthew 4, verses 8 through 10. The third and final temptation, and it's dealing with pride. My God, Amen. you know, pride can destroy you in many different ways. Mm -hmm. Listen, li listen to what uh, uh, the Satan tried to tempt the devil with. I mean, uh, Satan tried to tempt Jesus with. Mm -hmm. Verse eight, starting verse eight. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And he said unto him. All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get these hence. Really, Satan? Come on, man. <laughs> For it is written, thou shalt, worship, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Amen? Amen. The, second, the third temptation, uh, verse 8, it says, it says that, again, the devil take him to an exceedingly high mountain. I'm going to stop there for a moment. Uh, it's some, it, 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 some of us haven't been places in life and it doesn't take much to woo us. Come on, mm -hmm. somebody. If the devil knows that it doesn't take much to woo you, he'll take you to places you've never been before. That's right. And you get so excited. Have you ever seen someone, have you ever traveled with someone that hasn't been anywhere and you just go to the simplest place and they're just amazed taking pictures and oh, mm -hmm. you'll be like, really? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just, you know, Trees, <laughs> come on, it's just land, you know. But to them, they've never experienced it before, so it's something amazing in their sight and in their hearts, amen. But and that's what the devil he'll try to do, he'll try to get you to a place that you've never been before, something that makes you say, Oh, something that amazes you, and he'll use that mm -mm -mm, mm -hmm. to tempt you with, amen. Mm -hmm. So, here's what the devil says he, 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 Be careful, be careful what the devil shows you. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. Be careful what the devil shows you. How many know? How many? How many of you know that that the reason it's it, it's so important that you deny your flesh because your devil and your flesh are on the same cord. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. I, 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 hey, you think I'm playing? Whatever your flesh like, the devil likes. Mm -hmm. Satan likes. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. That's the reason we war. That, that's when we, our flesh and our spirit man are at war every single day. Now, now, let me, also, let me tell you on that note that whatever the devil likes, your spirit man don't like. Mm -hmm. right. we're, we're opposite of one another. Mm -hmm. See, and a lot of us think that we're spiritual, but now you're actually in a in a, say, in, in, in a, in a, 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 a demonic space, and, and you think you're spiritual, and those blessings that you're getting are demonic and not heaven. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going too deep. I'm going too deep. Let me, let me back up a little bit. He is the father of all lies. Did I say some? No. All. Did I say part of them? All. The one you even created. Right. The, those two. That's the reason it's very important. You can't trust the enemy at any cost. Because he is the thief that comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Whatever he can do that in your life, he's going to do it. Right. And as long as you give him leeway, you give him a crack in the door, he's coming in. Amen? Mm -hmm. And that's when it's very important that you don't, don't, don't have a conversation with him. Mm -hmm. My God. Don't have a conversation with him. I mean, let me, let me tell you something. It's, it's, a, uh, it's some words, and I, I used to pertain to women, but I'm not going to put it on women like that, because men too. 
because how many how many of us sometimes overthink things? Amen. Okay. Whenever if you're a person and, and you overthink things, the worst thing that I want to hear from you is, you know what I've been thinking. <laughs> oh glory! <laughs> right. That right there. When when you tell me I've been thinking, that conversation about to go left all the way. You know why? Because that's the problem you've been thinking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and if you're a person that overthinks stuff and thinks too much. You know, I used to do that. That's what I, got, I used to do that, but and you know what? I train myself. The Bible says that God, God says in, uh, in, in First Timothy seven, He says, "I did not give you the spirit of what fear, but power, love, and what." So, so, so you go, y'all. You got to exercise your mind. You, you got to make your mind sound. How to make it sound, Pastor? You want a disciplined mind. And see, well, what I do is I take the, the, the uh, uh, Jesus says, "Take no thought." Come on, somebody. So I was practicing, I grew up practicing not to take thought in things because if you take thought in something too long, then that thought becomes a worrying feeling and that worrying feeling becomes a emotion that you don't want to portray in the world. Come on, somebody. And then that emotion is going to cause you to what? Sin. And on somebody. That's when Jesus says, okay, be angry, but don't commit sin in your anger. Now, if you've been thinking about some stuff, come on, y'all. Some of us go, the more we think about it, the more upset we get. The more upset we get, the more crazy we get. Then the more crazy we get, now we end up in jail. We, we, we're in a hurt relationship. We have done stuff, we regret it. And now you got to go back and repent and then repent to God and then ask the person to forgive you. Or the people. I don't know about you, sometimes I just passed out in front of a whole crowd. And got to go back to the crowd, even where your house already wouldn't be. Amen. So you have to be careful what you're thinking. Because the devil, if he can get in your thoughts, my God, that's a message in itself. Protect your thoughts. Everything that glitters is not gold. You got to understand, let me tell you something. You cannot, okay, ooh, glory, teach her a moment. I got to talk about this. You cannot afford the devil's prices. Let me say that again. You cannot, no one, no one on this earth, living, breathing, can afford the devil's prices. Oh, he'll make you think you can. He makes them sound real good. How many of you ever got a car for zero down, but then got a repo later on? Amen. Amen. Hey, glory. Because the zero down got you in, but right. then when the monthly payments came, you couldn't afford Come on, somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what the devil does. He gets you with the zero down. Yes, yeah. Uh, what, 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 90, uh, uh, what, 60 days before your first payment. Mm -hmm. You ride good. Go to the car wash every day. Yeah, buddy. Let about, let, let, let about 90 days go by. Uh-oh. Mm -mm, we got a problem now. Houston. <laughs> Now you're robbing people to pay Paul just to pay for something that you could not afford. Amen. I'm, I'm telling you, some things you can't afford, you know why? It's not the fact that you don't make enough money. It's the fact that it's going to cost you more than you expected. Right, right. More somebody. And that's what the devil, you see, Jesus knew this from the gate. He, he knew it from the gate, which brings us to the dollar. I call this the dominology effect. Mm -hmm. I preach this, I, I love this message because I, I love dominoes. And a lot of people don't understand dominoes, amen? I'm going to break down dominoes. So now, ooh, it's off to our Wednesday. So you get to learn how to play dominoes and get a spiritual word at the same time, amen? That's what you get here, amen? <laughs> look, look here. We got a saying in dominoes, okay? A true domino player. All money ain't good money. And I, I know I'm speaking improper English, but hey, we're in the hood now. Come on, somebody. If y'all, if all you people know, we're in the hood up under the tree. Okay, amen. We're in the hood up under the tree with the, with the old men playing dominoes, amen. Mm -hmm. And they'll tell you, the old man will tell you, all money ain't good money. Mm -hmm. So you got to understand that. And, and uh, 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 when you're playing dominoes and someone sees it, especially people think that getting the most money wins the game. Mm -hmm. And so what, what happens is that the first money that they see, they bam, five, bam, ten, bam, fifteen, bam, twenty, twenty-five. And so the more money that they get, the more confidence in food glory. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something, the devil will build your confidence Amen. with false blessings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what happens. The person will begin to take all the money every chance they get. Mm -hmm. And when the person begins to get more money, their confidence builds up. Mm -hmm. As their confidence builds, pride sets in. Come on, somebody. Because you know, after you, if you're a domino player, the more money you're getting, the more stuff you're going to be talking. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to talk plenty of stuff. I'm going to talk plenty of trash. And, it, and the reason you're talking trash because you're looking at the board and you see you got the most money on the board, so you're the closest to win. Come on, somebody. Right, right. But that's not fact. In dominoes, how many know the table will turn in a New York second? Mm -hmm. And that's in any game. They say, we got to say, it's not over until the big lady sings. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. 
So 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 if it's not over yet, you better shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh glory! But the devil will have you going in. Mm -hmm. Now, see, they're not thinking about the consequences. That's the reason what pride does. It sets in, and you don't think about the consequences. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you something: the more money you take, that's a penalty. You can't, you can't, oh glory, thank you, Holy Ghost. You can't go anywhere in today's world or society and take all the money you want without being taxed. Am I, am I, am I right? I don't care if you're selling drugs, you're going to be taxed. <laughs> I don't care if you're selling pills illegally, you're going to be taxed. You got to pay somebody or something at some given time because you're taking money. Anytime you're taking money, Oh, there's some consequences behind the thing. Mm. Ooh, glory. God, thank you for giving me my money. <laughs> hey, mm. Jesus. Mm. Listen, Kara. They take, they take, they take, they take, they take. Because when you, when you take so much, you forgot to give. Mm. Ooh, glory. And see, here's the problem right here. Here's the problem. At that point, you begin to take the wrong money. Ooh, glory. You ever heard me saying, when, when, when I first talked, Times and often I tell you, you know, that money is God's money. He just allows you to have the 90%, come on somebody, and then he expects you to manage the 90%. But it's all his. Right. Amen? He just trusts you to do what he instilled in you to do with the opportunity that he's given you to make the money, the resource he's given you to make the money. So we got a saying here at the House of Israel that we allow money to flow through us and not to us. Come on somebody. If, if, if you were a vessel that, that God can use for money to flow, guess what? He'll continue to give it to you. That's right. Come on, somebody. It's inevitable. But if you're, you're the type of person that keep all your money clutched up, you got four or five savings accounts. Mm -hmm. I met a young man one time. I talked to him, the finances, the resources and stuff. He started saving. He had, had $20,000 in the bank. He said, Pastor, I got $20,000 saved up. I said, for what? <laughs> well, you know, uh, 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 uh. I don't know, but just, you know, I just got to, I just saved. And that's what we do in society. For what? You got $20,000 for what? You don't need $20,000 to get a home. You get a five, you can save five for that. But just imagine, but that's what we do. Why not allow money? And he came to me, and not, not telling you that if you have money, say, hey, some people have a reason to do so. I'm not telling you you may not have a reason, okay? Save your money, but you know, it's good to save. But what are you saving for? See, he didn't have a purpose. You know, no, and then he came back and said, you know what, I'm going to help such, 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 this charity. I'm going to help this charity. I'm, there you go. And, 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 and when he began to help here on earth with the finance that God has given him, guess what? God started blessing him with more. Amen. So instead of having $20,000 saved, he had $20,000 in his checking account. Come on, that was for somebody. Come on, somebody. Now, listen carefully. See, here's where the devil messed up. Here's where the devil messed up. He showed Jesus the glory. This is what he said. The devil taketh him into a city high mountain and, and show him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. Mm -hmm. Come somebody. Have you ever seen, have you ever noticed when God blesses you, he, he don't show you the glory? Because the glory belongs to who? Him. Come on, somebody. And, and so when he says, I'm going to bless you exceedingly abundantly, above all you can ask or think. See, that's our glory right there. If God, if you're going to bless me above I can ask or think, Come on, somebody. I don't know about you, but that's more than enough. Amen. God, you can you have all the glory because guess what? I'm going to let you know if it had not been for the Lord right. who was on my side, come on, somebody, mm -hmm. where would I be? Amen. So to God be the glory. And see, that's what the devil tried to do. He tried to trick Jesus and says, I'm going to, you see all these kingdoms? I'm going to give you them and their glory. Oh, mm -hmm. Come on, whoa, glory. If I can see that glory, that means it's not worth it. I'm glad somebody got that. I'm glad somebody got that. Listen carefully. The word glory in the Greek it means a wide application. Dignity, glorious honor, praise, worship. Dignity. I want you to focus on that. Dignity. When he says that, when, 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 when the devil says that, I'm going to give you the kingdoms of this world. He says, and I'm, then I'm going to give you the dignity of them. Okay? Dignity means worthlessness of something. Worth, worthliness of something. What is it worth? I, I have an old school car, and the only I got this old school car because every year the dignity of that car appreciates. Mm 
as long as I don't ding it, as long as I don't hood it out, as long as the motor's in good shape, uh, the paint job is in good condition, guess what? It gets greater as the older it gets because the dignity of the car is preserved. Come on, somebody. So Jesus says, let me get this straight. You're offering me the dignity of the world versus I, I can get the dignity of heaven. Mm-hmm. 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 That's when Jesus says, in, in paraphrasing, he says, you lost your mind, devil. Mm-hmm. Right. He, he said, yes, you look at it right. He said, Jesus said to him, get thee hence, Satan. Mm-hmm. Would you say, what's wrong with you? You going to offer me the dignity of the world when I can get the dignity of heaven? How many know the world is going to fall? Yeah. The world is cursed? Mm-hmm. Come on, can you value the dignity of the world? No, I wouldn't give a dollar for the dignity of the world. But when, but when the, when the devil offered it to us, it looks good, doesn't it? Oh, I can get all of this. And thank you for it, God. Oh, yes, it's good, it's good, it's good. I don't care if it's materialistic, guess what? It plays out. Cars depreciate. Houses, I, I'm a constructor, I work on houses every day. Big, beautiful, million dollar mansions, guess what? They fall apart as we speak. You gotta call me to come fix it. This is the dignity that we, we fall in love with. But the dignity of heaven, oh my God. Jesus says, I go to prepare a place. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. He not only died for us and our sins and our lives, but he died for the dignity. Amen. The dignity. Come on, somebody. What, 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 what is it worth? See, you can't compare heaven to nothing. You can't say heaven is good and better. Than, you can't say nothing. Because see, there's nothing better than heaven. Just like there's nothing better than what? God. Come on, somebody. Mm-hmm. You cannot compare. But that's what we do, right? Mm-hmm. You know, we take the dignity of the world and think that this is what we want. Mm-hmm. If, if a genie, just per se, if a genie came to you and asked you, give me three wishes, you're going to be thinking, you know, you know, you know, the first thing I say, give me ten more wishes. I mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, see, you look, don't be using that now. <laughs> If you ask you for three more, hey, hey, you got three wishes, what would they be? I want ten more right on top. Mm-hmm. Now, what's the other two? Okay, then we'll work on that. Mm-hmm. But well, you best believe they're going to be, they're going to be a, 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 a internal mm-hmm. or eternal versus temporary. Mm-hmm. Mm. Jesus says, let's get this straight. I'm going to take the dignity of heaven. The devil can only, get this down here, the devil can only give you what you can see. And guess what? If you can see it, mm-hmm. you realize it's already yours, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. See, the devil is so conniving and cunning, he can only offer you what you already have. Mm-hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm-hmm. He can only give you what you already have. Mm-hmm. How many of you, how many of you out there, God has promised you things in life? And it had not come to pass, but the enemy comes along and promises you something and, and, and is in the same facility and you think it's something new or different and you praise God for it. No. God says, I, he says, I can do things that was exceedingly or what abundantly above what? Above you can ask or think. So if you can see it and, and touch it and feel it, come on, God is greater than that. So it is written, it is written. In verse 10, he says, it is written, thou shalt worship the God, the Lord God, and him only, and thou shalt serve. Pride will make you forget where you come from. Pride will make you forget where you come from. It makes you forget who brought you out. Come on, somebody. The devil can bless us. That's where a lot of people get it. Ooh, glory, teach her a moment again. Is your blessing from the enemy? Or is it from God? Right, right. If you don't believe the devil can bless, the devil can bless you too. Mm-hmm. I can bless you, bless you hard, man. Have you ever been in a game? I can remember going in the game, man. We used to call it a blessing, being blessed that man. You had to go down a line, and 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 and, and big old brothers and then people and cats you don't even know would hit you in the face and the stomach and the gut, and we call it getting blessed. Mm-hmm. That's what the devil do. I'm gonna bless you. And he get, he knock you a blow, mm-hmm. knock you off your feet. Death comes to your family. Financial hardships come to your family. 
discomfort comes to your body. But then now you want God though. You want God to come in. Now you want God's blessing. Because he should have chose mine first. Right. Mm, my right. God. Amen. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. I can, I, 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 this is the key right here. The dominology effect. See, you win dominoes. You win every domino game. Every, do, every good domino player knows this. We got what you call hold your man. A good domino player. What my job is to do is to make sure that you don't win. My man is the one, the man behind you or the man ahead of you. You make sure that your man don't win. See, if we're playing, if we're playing a circle of, uh, of people and we're playing dominoes and the person that dominoes, you got to look at the person that's supposed to be guarding you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So a good domino player says that, you know what I can do? I can run the table from where I'm sitting, but I can't do it by taking money. I have to give money. And the player, listen carefully, the player that takes the most money is the ones you can stop. All money ain't good money. God, if it's not from you, I don't want it. That's what Jesus was saying. You can't give me nothing. Because if you give it to me, that's something I can't afford. I'm not going to give you my life for your blessings. Come on, somebody. I'm not going to give you my joy for your blessings. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you my peace for your blessings. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. See, when, when it comes down to the enemy and his blessings, right. all those stuff, they, they cost. Right. Right. But when God blesses you, those things are gained. Mm -hmm. Ooh, glory. Mm -hmm. He's going to bless you. The Bible says his blessings come without remorse. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, without grief, mm -hmm. without pain. And Jesus knew it. No, 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 no. Jesus said, I can run the whole table where I'm at. And I'm going to do it the same way I came into this world. world is giving. God so loved the world that he would. He gave. I want many different angles from the saints. But if you don't get anything else, give. Stop taking. The devil has been taking and taking and taking. And we got to know to take so much and then still give God the glory. Why do you think God has given you so much? Mm. So you can give too. You created his image, correct? Amen. We know you're taking. We can look at you. <laughs> hey, <God. laughs> what are you giving? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yes, I pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for this time. I thank you for this opportunity, Father. Lord, I pray that as we play this game of dominoes in this world, as we sit down at the table, Lord, everyone wants to take, everyone wants to eat, everyone wants to, 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 to be the man, everyone wants to get by, everyone wants to be on top. But who wants to give? Lord, I'm not worried about winning. I'm just worried about you blessing me. Lord, I, 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 I want to get blessed so I can give you the glory. In the name of Jesus. So I proclaim this day, if you want to proclaim with me, to give. And like the Bible says, it's better to give than what? Receive. Because the more you give, guess what? You shall receive. Amen. So I'm not going to allow pride to set in. Because how many know the more things that we have on earth? Jesus said it. He said it's hard for a rich man mm -hmm. to enter the kingdom of heaven. These are one of the things we're talking about. We are so blessed. We are so fortunate. We are so spoiled that we forget about the true meaning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus knew it. Jesus said, the world can't offer me anything, especially compared to what the kingdom of heaven has for me. So I pray that the kingdom of heaven fall upon you right now by the sound of my voice. That God blesses you exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think. According to the power that works within us. And as he does so, I ask right now that you have the spirit of giving. All upon you. So God can continue to give you more. And more and more. This is what I pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.
Amen. Amen. Once again, we're speaking about giving. Please come out and join us. We've been then. I'm, I'm trying to get the address together. We've been then November 19. November 19. Amen. We're still on. We're, we're still accepting donations, gifts, uh, 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 monetary money, turkeys. I don't think we can ever have enough turkeys. Amen. Amen. So we're going to be feeding the homeless and the unfortunate. Uh, even someone that, that hey, <coughs> you may not have time to cook. Amen. Bring your family on down. We're going to have smoked turkey, smoked ham. Uh, uh, mama's, uh, we got a uh, uh, Miss Shea making uh, mama's uh, uh, homemade dressing. I mean, this is these are dishes and, and a, meal, a meal prepared from scratch. This is not no preservatives or anything like that. We got men and women coming together that that's putting their hearts and their love and all this food to give to God's people. Amen. Amen. And we're going to make sure it goes off. November the 19th, once again, we have a flyer on Facebook. We have a number right there. Reach out to our secretary. She can get more information if you want to uh, drop off things and, 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 and a location. We have those and we have those things for you. Amen. Amen. Once again, if you want to give, dollar sign cash out. Dollar sign cash out. His church. H-E-S-C-H-U-R-C-H. His church, the number two. We say it again. Cash out. His church, the number two. Amen. Amen. His church, the number two. Once again, give. Sorry, it's not being on the screen right now, but uh, we have to revert to uh, a phone today. We don't know what happened to Facebook and, and our internet, but pray for us. But we're going to give you the word at all costs. Amen. That's if right. you didn't, if you didn't see us live, we apologize. But check out, check out our own brother CJ. He was on last Sunday. Powerful, powerful, powerful message. Amen. Amen. And uh, 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 talk about the birth, talk about the adoption, us in the, in, in the body of Christ. Very, very well needed the word for this time, this generation. So please check out YouTube, uh, check out uh, um, um, our Facebook page. It'll be on there, Brother CJ. He, he went on live uh, last week, amen? amen? So check him out. Once again, feel free to join us every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. I'm sorry for the tardiness tonight, but 7 p.m. off the wall Wednesday. Off the wall Wednesday, we're here. And then every Sunday morning from 10 to 10.30, we'll be chiming in, praise and worship. Once again, we love you. Not a thing you can do about it. Well, don't forget the date, November 19th. November 19th. Pass, share, care, do whatever. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Amen. 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 I'm your guy, Pastor Taz. We love you. God bless. <laughs>